Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Papa Tom. I am a part of Eaching's Life. Um, sorry, guys, I haven't made a vlog in a few weeks. I've been really, really busy. Our family's been really busy, and I just haven't had time to even think about videoing anything. But I'm at work. I'm in the parking lot, garage. I'm like 20 minutes early before I have to be inside, so I thought I'd do one real fast. Um, yeah, William had a cough today. William and Wesley both had a little cough. So we decided to, anytime the kids are even look like they have any kind of sickness whatsoever, we just don't send them to school, which is what most parents should, all parents should be doing with their kids. If they're coughing, runny nose, don't send them to school because you never know if it's COVID or not. And you don't want to spread that amongst the other kids. So we decided out of an abundance of caution to keep William home today. Um, anyway, guys, on this channel, this is the dad channel, which is the dad's perspective of our life, Eaching's life. Um, that's our family channel. So this is more of life through the dad's eyes. Um, so one thing I like to do guys, and I haven't um, been practicing it as much, is I try to learn uh, one word a day of my wife's language, which is from the Philippines, which is Bisaya. And I try to practice that one word a day. And I like to do that by telling a joke. Okay, so when I'm at work, I like to tell people jokes and I like to use that one word and then they like the joke and it lets me practice, you know, and sometimes people have a good story about, oh, someone's relatives from the Philippines or they're, they knew, an, you know, they, their, their son married a girl from the Philippines and then we start talking. So a lot of the, the residents where I work, it's a luxury retirement community. They're all older and retired um, in various stages of their lives so they have a lot of stories and you just never know who you're going to meet or what you're going to talk about but anyway guys so today's word of the day is the word apes you know monk like apes like gorillas apes okay so in Bisaya, you say apes it's a two word word i guess and i always have a hard time saying these because i'm not really sure which letter silence but i think i think you say apes Ma ungoy, ma ungoy. So it's two words, M-G-A and then ungoy. But I think it's pronounced ma ungoy, like it kind of rolls. Okay, so we're gonna go with that, but you guys can comment down below and let me know if that's not right. Ma ungoy. All right, so here's a good joke that you guys can say too, and your kids will love it, and your friends will love it too. What do you call it? What do you call it when a group of ma ungoy starts a company? What do you call it? Monkey business. <laughs> I get it, monkey business, because apes are monkeys. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, guys. Tell your friends that, tell your kids that, they'll laugh. Monkey business. Um, anyway, guys, so if you watch our family vlog, which I'm sure most of you probably watch that, which is how you found me, um, you heard our, our news, our exciting news. So we are pregnant. And we're having another baby so it's a big step um but you know we're, we're super excited and we actually wanted to have one more child um eachings had two boys um one's with me and then one's with um the person before me william's biological father um so she's had two boys and she really wanted a girl and i've had one daughter with my first wife um, Larrett, and we've had a son, Wesley, with Eaching and I since we've been married. So I'm 50 50 with girls. Eaching's 0 for 2. So we're, we're kind of hoping our, we're kind of keeping our fingers crossed because um, Wesley's a year and a half old right now. He's 18 months. So the, the expected due date is around May, which would put Wesley at two years old. And that's like the ideal time to have. We want our kids to grow up together in school. And so two year difference is, is, better than a three-year difference so um so yeah so we weren't necessarily trying to have a baby but it seems to come easy for us if we wanted to we're both we're both very fertile people um so you know we weren't protecting against having a baby so we were leaving it in god's hands right so if it's meant to be it was going to be um so we kind of knew when it was you know safer and when it was more likely that it might happen. So we just kind of just lived our life and 
weren't taking any precautions and you know if it happened it happened and it happened so i think it happened during the covid when we all had covid but the, see guys that's a side effect of covid you're you're trapped in a house quarantined with your wife or you know what do you get you can only watch netflix so many times i mean what do you <laughs> no so we're super excited um we'll be happy with if it's a boy or a girl um but yeah it's a big step i mean there's you know we've already started um we we really want Yiching's mom to get a, her her visitor visa so maybe she can come stay with us for a little while and help after the baby's born and she's excited to do that she's getting her her visa or her uh, passport right now um, everything's delayed in the world even in the philippines it takes a while to get appointments to actually get in and do things so we've got that ball rolling um Yiching's got her green card she's a permanent resident we have a um, the, the government here has been a little bit slow and not doing things the way that they normally did. Normally we would have her social security number long before the green card, but it never came and it never came and they wouldn't give it to us for whatever reasons. But anyways, we have an appointment in a week or so. We're going to go get her social security number now that she's got her permanent resident card. So that'll help things. Um, she's getting ready to take her driver's license test. That's going to help things. So once she does, we have to get a second vehicle. In fact, this 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 car is not big enough for two extra people. So once we add a, another car seat or baby, it's it's not going to be big enough. It's only a two rows. So and it, especially if um, um, Yiching's mom comes and that's an adult and a baby that we'd have to add in. So we're going to be looking to buy another car. So this one will be Yiching's car because it's a little smaller. And then we'll get one more that's got a third row so that it'll be big enough to hold everyone. But, you know, the COVID's caused, you know, weird shortages in America. And one of those is cars. And a big one is three row vehicles. So there's a shortage of those out there. So who knows? Man, I'm tired of this. But anyway, that's our life, guys. So a baby's coming. We're trying to get psychologically prepared and ready for it. Um, we're both happy as can be. Um, you know, there were some mean people that said some mean things on, on Yiching's video where she was doing the test and she was crying, you know, and they were like, ah, oh, you should have known better. It's your fault. You'd like, Guys, she wasn't crying because she was mad or unhappy or surprised or shocked. You know, it's it's an emotional, it's, it's emotional. You you know, you're not expecting the baby and it just, wow, you're, you took the test and oh my gosh, it's, you're pregnant. You know, it's, it's emotion. It's, it's, you know, it's tears of joy guys. So anyways, for all those people that are mean, you know, I get, I can't really do anything about you saying mean things, but you know, try to be a little nicer in life. You know, you don't have to be so mean. Don't say, you don't have to say rude things to people. Um, unless that makes you feel good, in which case, whatever, I'll pray for you. Yeah. I don't, I don't wish anything bad against you, but anyway, guys, so that's that. Um, I've got a few more videos I want to get up in the next week or so. I'm going to do an update video on, on William and where we're at with adoption. Are we adopting? Are we not adopting? Um, has his father been in touch with us? Has he not been in touch with us? Um, has he paid any child support? Um, what are our plans? Um, so I'm going to talk about that. Um, and then I'm going to talk about every time, this is my third child. So when the children come, you know, the, the, the hospitals and the doctors always want to ask, does your family have a history of illnesses or diabetes or cancer or, or, or things like that? And I always have to say, I was adopted. I don't know. So, yeah, that's true guys. I was adopted. I was adopted at birth. Um, so I think I'm going to do a vlog on what I know about my birth parents, the, the parents that adopted me, they're both, they've both passed away. So I don't have my, my parents that raised me alive anymore, but who knows, maybe out there somewhere is my birth mother or my birth father. I don't know their names. I've tried to find something to tell me about them. Don't, I don't have any information, but I do have some information about them back then. So maybe I'll share that and somebody can share this video. And then somebody that might know some people that, that the story sounds familiar might say, Hey, didn't you have a son, a good looking son back in <laughs> Michigan where I was born? And they'll say, Oh my gosh, that could be our, that could be our son. 
So, you know, there's a very, 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 very slim chance, but I think I'll put a video out there and like share what I know about my birth parents, where I was born, the hospital, what I know about them, and maybe somebody can share it. And then maybe, maybe they'll see it and we'll have a kind of a reunion and then they'll get to meet their grandkids they never knew they had. But anyway, guys, it's been a great, great few weeks. I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a great day. One eternity later. Right, everybody, what's your dance move called? It's called the brush your teeth shuffle. Well, it's brush your teeth dancing mode. Oh, brush your teeth dancing mode. Let me get a different angle. <laughs> get that Elvis Presley leg going.